All right, so today I have an amp here, an integrated amp I want to talk about. This is the Gato DIA400S. This is a powerhouse of an amp. Check out the specs. 400 watts per channel into 8 ohms, 800 watts per channel into 4 ohms. That is immense power. The Gato 400S is an all-in-one uh, integrated amplifier. It includes a very good DAC inside as well as a Class D amplifier. Now, this uses the same or similar uh, Class D modules from Pascal as my reference integrated amp right now, the AVIC U150. Now, the AVIC U150 is no longer in production, but when it was sold years ago, it was $20,000 if you bought it with the DAC and the Phono stage. The Gato 400S comes with a DAC and it comes in at around $4,200 US dollars, a little under $4,200 US dollars. It is a beautiful design. I believe like it could go into a museum. Like this is like an art piece that's also a high functioning, high end, hi fi piece. But it is a Class D amp, and I'll be the first to tell you that I used to be pretty biased against Class D amplification. I'm talking 10 years ago, 8 years ago, even as little as 5, 6 years ago. But over the last few years, Class D has come a long way. And, you know, I've always raved about Class A amps and that sound that they bring, and, and even Class A B amps for their speed and their slam, but Class D amps in the past used to sound hazy, gray, sometimes they were etched and thin, sometimes they were overly dull, um, but with amps like the Avic and the Gato here that I'm about to talk about, Class D has taken a huge leap forward, and if you look around online, there are quite a few audiophiles and audio fans that say Class D has finally arrived and it can meet uh, Class A, B, or Class A designs. Now, this is a video about the Gato 400S. I already posted my written review at my website. I'll put a link in the description below. I think it's a four or 5,000 word review. Uh, there'll probably be more information in that written review than here because when I do videos, I'm not here to give you talking points or tech specs so much. I'm here to talk about what I feel about the amplifier. And I've heard a ton of integrated amplifiers in my life. Over the last two years alone, I've had some pretty remarkable integrated amplifiers through these doors in this room. So what does the Gato 400S sound like? Well, we know what it looks like, and it looks beautiful. You have the volume knob in the center, you have that beautiful display, and I love the way the volume numbers roll up or scroll up as you change the volume. It comes with a really nice remote, and uh, it runs a little bit warm if you turn it up and jam out, but it never gets hot or crazy. It's not 100 pounds, it's not even 50 pounds. I don't know the exact weight exactly, but it feels like anywhere between 25 and 35 pounds. So it runs pretty cool, it's lightweight, it looks like a million bucks, and it has all kinds of inputs for the digital side of the amp. It does have a built-in DAC. It's a 24192 DAC, so you're not gonna be doing DSD or anything fancy. Um, and I expected the DAC inside to be kind of just average, as most integrateds I've heard that were all-in-ones, most, not all, usually have a subpar DAC inside. That's not the case with the 400S. So before I get to the sound, I wanna talk a little bit about what has converted me to Class D and why I feel it's the future of high-end audio. And maybe not right at this moment, but the years ahead, I think we're going to be seeing and hearing a lot from Class D amplification. The only Class D integrated that I've had through here that I absolutely was floored by is the one I have in the system as my reference, the AVIC U150. And I took a shot on it kind of blind just by a dealer's remarks when we were having a conversation. And uh, I decided to give it a try. I brought it in here and I was bowled over by it. If you didn't see my written review, I haven't done a video review of it, 
you can see that at the website as well. Love the U150. So when I had a chance to review the Gato uh, 400S, I was like, wow, for a quarter of the price retail of the Avic, I wonder how close it will get. So the amp shows up, I take it out of the box. I'm in awe of the beauty. I noticed they sent me one with a gloss black top plate. Now this top plate also comes in white, uh, also a wood grain. And you can even have Gato make you a custom color. Say you wanna match something in your room or house, they can match that paint uh, finish or color that you want and make you a plate for the top of your amp. So you can customize your integrated. Now Gato makes a class AB amp that's highly regarded. They're 150. They make a couple of class D integrateds, the 250 and the 400. The 400 has more power and this is the latest and greatest uh, class D 400S in the Gato line. When I hooked it up to the system, I unplugged the Avic, I plugged in the Gato, and I played some familiar tracks. And right out of the box, I'm talking fresh out of the box. And everything I've read from users say, man, these things need 300 hours, 400 hours of burn-in. I'm not a big believer of 400 hours of burn-in for anything. I do believe after a few days, things can open up and, and come into their own. But when I first hooked up the Gato, it was a different sound from the Avic completely. It was leaner, it was more focused on clarity, um, and it was a little brighter, and the bass wasn't as big or prevalent, right? It was tight, tuneful bass, but there just wasn't as much there as what I was used to with the Avic. So I put the Gato into a smaller system and I let it run 24 seven with a blue sound node for two weeks. And after those two weeks, I grabbed it, I put it back in here, and it was an, an entirely different amp. Um, so burn-in is real with the Gato. Uh, when I plugged it back in, it was warmer. It was very smooth through the mid-band. Uh, the clarity, that crazy snap and crackle and pop clarity out of the box toned down a bit. And while it was still very clear and the treble extension was very great, it wasn't like it was out of the box. There was no hardness or nothing lean uh, or dry about it at all. The bass opened up a little bit more, but it still didn't reach the depths of the Avic. Uh, but again, we're talking an integrated amp that's a quarter of the price. Um, so as I start listening, I was just becoming uh, enthralled by the music, right? It was connecting with me on an emotional level. And if I was playing some really good sounding tracks, especially those of the uh, spatial variety. Uh, what I mean by that is ambient type of music, right? Uh, it was just enveloping me into that music in a gentle, smooth, um, refined way. It was not this big, crazy sound, but it was sounding really, really good. When I would throw on some rock or some EDM or more aggressive music, what really uh, pleased me with this amp is the drums were just poof, big drum beats big power behind the drums and You know this amp is crazy powerful It'll run any speaker you hook it up to at that 400 and 800 watts per channel And one thing I like about the Gato is I could turn it up. I was listening to uh, some rock and metal I don't remember the the bands, but there was a variety of them being recommended through the music apps and I figured I'd turn it up really loud because a good way to test an amp is to turn it up and see if the sound stays composed, smooth, uh, and when you have a really good amp, you could jam it and it's still gonna sound relatively quiet, right? That's because the quality is so smooth and there's no jaggedness, there's no harshness that you don't realize how loud you have it. The Avic does that very well. I've had other amps that do that very well. Some amps fail at that. Some amps, when you turn them up like that, your speakers will start sounding hard, forced, brittle, right? And that's just like when people say, oh, turn that down, it's hurting my ears. So I wanted to try this with the Gato, and I turned it up uh, as loud as I could take it, and it stayed relatively smooth. There was no glare, there was no grain, there was no hardness. Again, the bass and that plumpness wasn't as solidified as what I'm used to with the Avic, 
but it was still smooth. It still presented a tuneful bass. And is, if I have to uh, compare them, I would say the Gato was probably more correct. It wasn't adding anything. If I played a bad, thin 80s recording, it still sounded bad and thin. So what I was getting from this was the Gato is more of a truth teller where the Avic puts a little romance to the music uh, to, to romance your ears, right? I like both, right? Um, but the Gato really surprised me with the quality that was coming out. It went from out of the box to sounding a little thin and lean and I was like, oh no, we're in trouble here, to a couple weeks later sounding uh, smooth, a little tilt to the warm side of neutral. Um, and all I could ask for was a little bit richer and more bigger bass, right? It, it was just, it was there, but I was wanting it to best or equal the Avic so I could say, here's a $4,000 amp that equals a $20,000 amp. That wasn't the case, but what I can say is the Gato 400S is one of the finest integrated amps I've heard up to $8,000. For example, I prefer the sound, the style, the looks, the simplicity to something like the Hi-Fi Rose RA180 that I really enjoyed. I prefer it to the Mishi X3 that I reviewed not so long ago in looks, in simplicity, in sound. So I was running this thing initially with my Focal Diablo Utopia speakers and my T plus A DAC 200 with a Lumen U2 streamer going into that DAC, going into the Gato. Everything was sounding beautiful. I decided to try the built-in DAC of the Gato 400S, expecting to be disappointed. So I took that U2 streamer output and put it directly into the Gato. Uh, and I was in shock because to me, the DAC inside of the 400S sounded like DACs I've heard that were two and $3,000, yet this is a $4,200 amp. And the DAC inside of this thing is very spacious, kind of holographic, a little three-dimensional, more on the airy side. Um, it had a great tonality from top to bottom. Everything sounded good. And I was like, wow, this is not that far off from the sound I'm getting from the T plus A. T plus A sounds better, it's way more versatile and you could do more things with it. Um, but going direct into the Gato 400S was, was brilliant. And that's when it dawned on me, somebody's not going to buy this amp. You're not going to buy the Gato 400S uh, as a picky audiophile who wants, you know, 10 different boxes. This amp is made for the person who wants one box, an all-in-one. You have your DAC. There's no phono stage, so this is more of like a digital playback all-in-one system. You could even buy the 400S with a built-in streamer. Uh, the one they sent me does not have the streamer built in, but I think it's $500, and you can have a true all-in-one where all you'll need is a power cord, and that comes with it, so you won't have to have all these cables and different boxes. So that's who this is for. The person who wants to simplify things, scale things down, have one beautiful statement piece on top of their cabinet or rack, and that's it. That's all you will need, right? Uh, especially if you get it with the streamer. That's the target audience for this amp. And what it does at the $4,200 price point is amazing. It, it has immense power, it sounds beautiful, it sounds wide open, uh, it images in a natural way. It's not etched or analytical. It's beautiful sounding. The remote is nice, way better than the remote they give with that Avic, which is an embarrassment uh, if you ask me. I looked past it due to the sound quality, but the Gato 400S, the DIA 400S, is a fantastic amp. If you're not afraid of class D or high power and you want an amp that's dead quiet, there's gonna be no humming, no buzzing, uh, no noise coming from it at all. If you want an app that runs pretty cool and never gets hot and it has those beautiful heat sinks on the side where it gets slightly warm after a few hours of use. So if you want an amp that's not going to break your back lifting it and you want an amp that does everything all in one, you really need to take a look at the Gato 400S. Now Gato sell separates, they sell other items, they sell phono stages, they sell all kinds of stuff. But this is an integrated amp, a true integrated amp meant for someone who wants to stream digital music in a high quality way. Just add speakers and you're done. Now, 
Again, I'll have more details in the written review, but I just wanted to tell you guys about my experience with the amp, what it looked like, what it sounded like, the internal DAC, and uh, it, it's a beautiful piece. It's very well made, and it's made in Denmark, the same country that the Avic is made in. So there's like two amps from Denmark competing here, $20,000 versus $4,000, and the $4,000 amp got a little close to that $20,000 amp. Mm -hmm. 